Hey guys, Jacob here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing my annual cube collection video for the end of 2022. So first off, I just want to mention that this has been a pretty, overall pretty good year um, as far as collecting and making puzzles and stuff. Um, not quite as competitive as I used to be, but I still, I still compete sometimes. So um, in this video, I'm just going to show you my cube collection as of December 31st, 2022. So I'm at 398 puzzles, so just short of 400. So anyway, uh, first off, we got a few shape mods, got some, uh, some fruits, some, and some other random shape mods, got a cat and Optimus Prime uh, down here. <coughs> Down here is just some cubing accessories. I got, I know this isn't a puzzle, but for my birthday this past year, I got the, <coughs> excuse me, got the Flash Forge Adventure 4 3D printer. Um, it is much bigger than the Adventure 3. And uh, sorry if my hands are shaking, I'm a little jittery. But anyway, uh, over here we got my pyramixes uh and then down here we got a bunch of random shape mods i'm just gonna just gonna pan through these up here on the wall we got some more puzzles we got some big cubes some random dodecahedral puzzles um cu couple of um other polyhedral puzzles, you got the Tutminx and the Wandering Tutminx. Then up here we got a Skube Ultimate and a 3D printed Dodgic Replica. Uh, over here on my dresser we got some more puzzles. We got some 3D printed puzzles that were too big to fit on the white shelf. My Morphix lineup got 2x2 two two all the way up through 9x9. Nine as well as some Rubik's brand puzzles. These three are the newest versions of the Rubik's 2x2 two two through 4x4 four four with tiles. They are actually designed like speed cubes and actually perform not that bad, except for this one, which is just a, which is just an old Rubik's 5x5 five five cube, which unlike these actually has stickers and does not turn well at all, but I wanted to put it here just for completion. Up here on top of the white shelf, we got my giant 3x3, the 2x2 and 3x3 Rubik's Perplexus puzzles. Up here we got a whole bunch of puzzles. You got some Rubik's brand puzzles, some vintage puzzles, and some handmade 1x1s. Right here we got some random n by n cubes and some cuboids. Right here are my 3D printed puzzles, the, the majority of them. As I think I'm caught up on making videos on these. And Right here, we got my Speed Pyraminxes, Speed Megaminxes, and some other random puzzles, like the Clocks, Siamese Puzzles, and Gear Cubes. Down here are all my Speed Cubes. So, we got my... On this shelf, we got my 4x4 through 7x7 Speed Cubes. My mains are right here, easiest to access. Down here are my smaller cube speed cubes. Got three by threes, square ones, two by twos, and skubes. And then over here we got my big cube lineups. First we got the old generation Shengshao big cubes, along with the original Yushin 11 and Mo Yu 13. <coughs> and then up here are the uh, are the newer big cubes. Got the Xing Shao pillowed 6x6 all the way up to 14x14. 14 14. 
Then we got the Moyu 15, Yushin 17, and Xingxiao 19, which currently is my biggest N by N cube, as far as number of layers. And then lastly, up here on the wall, we have some more minxes. Um, we got the Xingxiao Terra minx and a Curvy Dino minx. We got my Eximinx and a MF8 Petaminx, which I painted a few years ago, but the paint is starting to chip off. And up here, we got the Xingxiao minxes. Got the Kilominx through Gigaminx. And then down here, we just got some random accessories and a creeper. So that is about it for my collection. Um, I hope 2023 brings a lot of good into the Cuban community like 2022 did. Um, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.